Hi guys, welcome back to the Bonville Cocktail Collection. As always, thanks for all your great comments and your requests have been pouring in. Now, as it's the start of summer, it's time to break out some tasty tropical cocktails. So here are our top five tiki drinks. All right guys, our first tiki classic is gonna be the Fog Cutter. This drink dates back to the 1970s. I know we like to keep it simple on, on this channel, but tiki drinks, nothing's ever simple. So there's always quite a, quite a lot of ingredients. First up is gonna be uh, light rum, 40 ml. And then cognac, 20 ml. Gin, 15 ml. And we get some freshly squeezed orange juice, 40 ml of that. And uh, lemon juice, 15 ml. Finally, Borgia almond syrup, 15 ml. Shake those up. And strain that into a high ball full of ice. Now our last ingredient is gonna be a sherry float. You want about 15 mils of sherry. Let's pop that on right on top. Then we'll garnish that with a nice fresh orange wedge. And that is the fog cutter. Okay, next up we're gonna make a really popular tiki drink that kind of made it into the mainstream, the pina colada. There's loads of different ways of making this. Some complicated ways with blenders and stuff. We're just gonna do a simple one that you can do at home. Starting with your rum, quite boozy one. So we go 60 mils. Next up, fresh pineapple juice, also 60 mils. Now, you want this product called cream coconut. This one, one we use called Coco Lopez. It's quite good, just 20 mils of that. And finally, half and half. So this is half cream, half milk. If you use all cream, it gets a bit sickly. 25 mils of that, and that's about it. Yeah, that quick shake. Now, we don't have much specialized tiki glassware here at the Bomb World, so we just improvise a little bit. You want to use some sort of stem goblet, like a hurricane if you have it, or um, a sling or something like that. We're going to strain that over cube ice, get a straw, and we'll do a nice big tiki garnish on this one. And there we have pina colada. Next up is one of my tiki favourites. This is called the Hurricane. There's quite a lot of ingredients, so hopefully you can keep up. Starting off with dark rum, 25 mils. And a light rum. 25 mils. Yeah, Galliano, this is a vanilla liqueur. About 15 mils of that. Lime juice, 20 mils. Fresh orange juice, 60 mils. Fresh pineapple juice, also 60 mils. Sugar syrup, 25. Passion fruit syrup, 25. And a dash of Angostura, just for luck. Shake that up. Just strain that into a, a hurricane glass. Tiki garnish. And that's the hurricane. Okay, next up we're gonna make uh, one of the more simple tiki drinks. This is called the Painkiller from the Soggy Dollar Bar in the British Virgin Islands. We're gonna start off with a dark rum. They traditionally use Puss's Navy rum, 50 mils. Get our fresh pineapple juice, uh, 40 mils. 
and some orange juice, about 15, 10 to 15 mils, and our coco cream coconut, about 10 mils of that. And that's it. Let's check that out. Glass full of ice. Just like set with a nice wedge of orange, and that's painkiller. All right, guys, we've saved the ultimate tiki drink till last. This one's called the zombie, and when you see the ingredients, you'll figure out why. Actually, in the bar that I learned to. So bartending, we, we used to limit it to one of these per customer. So we're gonna start with our rum. You're gonna need 100 mils in total. So I'm gonna blend five different ones, 20 mils of each. So just whatever you have. If you've only got one or two at home, just use that. Next up, maraschino cherry liqueur. We've got 15 mils of that. Grenadine, five mils. Velvet falernum. I think you might have seen this one in our rum video before. This is a, a liqueur made with lime and cloves. 15 mils of that. Simple syrup, 10 mils. We need it there, don't worry. That lime juice, 25 mils. Grapefruit juice, pink grapefruit juice, 20 mils. To top it off, some absinthe. Just want a dash of that. Dash of Angostura. And that's it, we'll shake that up. You need quite a big glass for this. If you've got like a 16 ounce hurricane that would use that, we're gonna do it in a, in a beer mug. That fits. And of course, the obligatory tropical tiki garnish. And that is the zombie. Careful with that one. So, those are our top five tiki cocktails. Hope you have fun playing with those over the summer. Let us know how you get on and please keep your comments and requests coming in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time at the Bonville Cocktail Collection. Alright guys, last but not least, we've got the one of the best tea. Oh, you Alright guys, last up we've got the what the f I want to say. This is a fog cutter. Oh f no, I missed out on the right ingredient. Oh did you? Yeah, I'm supposed to top it with sherry.